Another example of Faraday's law is the eddy current break effect. Here I have a disc that I'm going to swing as a pendulum and uh, just let it oscillate back and forth like that. No magnetic effects there. Here I have uh, another disc that I'm going to swing in a similar fashion. So mechanically these two discs behave uh, in a very similar fashion. Let's watch what happens when I uh, take this plastic disc, which is an insulating material, and uh, put it between the poles of this uh, rather strong magnet here and just let that plastic disc swing between the poles of that uh, magnet. And we see that it swings freely between the poles of the magnet. And now let's take the magnet over here on this aluminum disc and uh, watch what happens when the aluminum disc swings between the poles of that same magnet. Notice that the magnet quickly grabs the aluminum. Well, what's happening there is this, that the aluminum, when it's out here, sees a small magnetic field or zero magnetic field compared to when it's down here. And when it comes in closer, it sees the magnetic field increase. The magnetic field that the, the disc sees increases. That's a changing magnetic field. Changing magnetic field produces an electric field. That electric field drives little eddy currents around in this. And when we have currents of electricity in the aluminum disc, then those currents will experience a magnetic force. Remember, moving charge experiences a magnetic force. And so that magnetic force turns out to be in such a direction as to slow it down. This effect is called the eddy current break. Let me demonstrate that one more time. Another effect that we can show is when I try to pull this magnet away from this disc, watch what happens. Again, going from a strong magnetic field to a weak magnetic field, which it is now for this disc, there's a change in the magnetic field. That'll create an electric field, which will again induce electric currents, and those electric currents in the presence of the magnetic field will experience a magnetic force. So when we change the magnetic field, for whatever reason, there will be an induced electric field, and if that electric field is capable of driving current through the circuit, that current then can experience additional magnetic forces. Over here with the disc, since it's a non-conductor, we don't have current flowing, and so that's why it is that with the non-conductor that it can swing freely through the poles of the magnet without being affected. In a similar way, with a non-conductor, even though there's an electric field produced, the current can't flow because it's a non-conductor, and when I pull the magnet away, it doesn't come with it. The eddy current break effect.